Well, SpaceX crews are celebrating their latest rocket launch this morning. SpaceX launching its most powerful rocket ever built in an unmanned mission. But while there were cheers early on, the test flight lasted only four minutes before the rocket exploded, or what SpaceX so creatively referred to as, quote, a rapid unscheduled disassembly. But crews are still calling this a success. Let's bring in SpaceX consultant, former NASA astronaut and University of Southern California professor Garrett Reisman. Garrett, I'm so excited to talk to you about this. We're all watching a rocket explode, but I've heard you say the consequences of this failure were low. The benefits, though, were high. Can you explain? Yeah, that's correct, Kelly. So SpaceX really excels at these uh, successful failures, if you will. They create environments during testing, during development of their new vehicles, where they don't have a whole lot to lose and a lot to gain. So, uh, yes, um, you know, we lost th that rocket, but hey, look, nobody got hurt. And we have more rockets sitting in the hangar ready to go uh, to try again. And so by, by making a lot of prototypes and trying a lot of different things early on, they could rapidly converge on the correct solution much faster than if you just sit on the ground and try to do it all on paper. And you said that some of these systems or those decisions moved a little bit slower at NASA. Um, this is also about revolutionizing the economics of space flight. A uh, key point here. So do you mind just expanding on that a little bit? Yeah, surely. Well, well we had to move slowly at NASA because it was hard to change any, anything. Once we had one of these very large programs with all these different suppliers and companies involved uh, and, and, uh, the, and, and these very complex systems, if you make a change, it's extremely expensive. So you try really, really hard to get it right the first time. The problem is that takes a long time and costs a lot of money. Uh, what SpaceX enjoys is that we didn't have the advantage of back at NASA or at these large companies is agility. So if they find that they make a quick decision, and the, of course the risk is that you make the wrong decision, they could very quickly make a change and fix it. And, and because of that agility, because of their ability to pivot on a dime, and fix things that are broken, which I'm sure they're already doing today after uh, learning what they learned yesterday, that allows them to move very much more quickly. Interesting. So I know one of the goals of SpaceX is to uh, have humans be multi-planetary. How does this help in that effort? Well, this vehicle is revolutionary on three different fronts. And uh, if it all works out, and we still have a long way to go, as is kind of obvious from the, the video of it blowing up there, <laughs> uh, but if it does deliver on its promise, <clears throat> it will absolutely uh, change everything. The first thing is the scale. This rocket is enormous. It's more than twice as powerful than the most powerful rocket we've ever successfully launched. It could carry up to 100 people, probably will be less than that, but it, theoretically up to 100 people at a time. Before this rocket, the, the most number of people were able to carry it on one rocket into space was using the space shuttle, and that was eight people. So we're going from eight to 100. The other thing is it's designed to be completely reusable so that we can get both the booster and the, and the space uh, ship back and, and fill it up with gas and launch again, just like an airplane. That will revolutionize the economics. It could drop the cost of uh, delivering a pound to orbit from $50,000 per pound, where it was when I was flying, down to about like $100 per pound. So that makes all kinds of business opportunities feasible that were cost prohibitive. And well, then finally, once it's in space, we can refuel it and take it anywhere in the solar system. This rocket can reach places like the moon. It can even reach out to Mars. So interesting. Garrett Reisman, thank you for joining us and sharing your passion. We appreciate it. My pleasure, Kelly. Have a good morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.